everyone, Nancy here. It is June 13, 2020 and 6.46 in the evening. I decided to go and um, make a cake, a very simple cake. I learned it from Jenny, Jenny Jones. Remember Jenny Jones? Yes, I learned it from her. She's got a channel. I'm going to have her link. Um, if you guys are on, if you, if you guys are watching on YouTube, okay, the link will be posted on, in the description box below. And if you're watching on Facebook, I will have the link posted for you there. Yeah, so this cake that I learned how to make, well, I haven't learned how to make it yet. I just, I saw these, the steps for it um, about half an hour ago now. I wanted to make it, and um, I've made another thing, very, a very simple pastry from her before. It was a, um, what's it called? A, it was a, I think it was a brownie, I forget, a, a lemon brownie. I'm going to have the link for you also posted. It's really easy. Anyway, so she made this chocolate cake, and you don't use any milk, and you don't use any uh, water. No, you do use water. You don't use milk, and you don't use any eggs, but you do use milk for the frosting. I'm not going to make the frosting. I'm just going to make the cake. So she, I have a cup and a half of flour in here, all right, and all-purpose flour, and then... Just let me get the instructions because I don't want to make I don't want to make a mess or mess up. Okay, uh, she says to maybe you guys can make it because it's so easy, right? It's really really simple. It's a very simple process to make it. Okay, so she says in the bowl. Mm, okay, put in. Okay, so I have the flour in here already. Then put some sugar and this she used white sugar I don't cook with white sugar guys I don't use white sugar this is um, blonde uh, cane pure cane sugar right so that's and a cup she says to put a cup the cup is a lot that's a lot of sugar but I'm just gonna go by the recipe so that when I make it again I can adjust it because one cup of sugar I don't use one cup of sugar to make one and a one there's like one cup of flour and a half a cup and a half of flour a cup of flour and a half is in here and one cup of sugar is too much anyway I'm just gonna follow the recipe so I put it in there Today I'm a little bit of a mess. She said to add uh, a half a cup of unsweetened Dutch cocoa powder. Okay, and she said that Dutch cocoa powder it's the best one to use because it's it's mild and it gives a really like I've noticed I've I've I cook with like I bake with Dutch flour, but I didn't realize that it was much milder than other cocos. But anyway, she says that. It gives a it's just a milder, a milder flavor. But I, what I've noticed with Dutch cocoa powder is that it it's so concentrated that it makes your your pastries come out like a really really dark dark chocolate. Okay, like dark, really really dark guys. So if you like really really dark chocolate, a dark chocolate look and a flavor, because because it she says it's mild, but I find that Dutch chocolate, Dutch cocoa powder is stronger than other powders but anyway and what else did she say um where's my okay, here it is. the baking soda okay so baking soda um <laughs> okay i'm just laughing because i i don't normally do this guys so that's why i'm taking a long time like i don't normally cook and or bake and and talk at the same time because i get distracted but if you want to just stay and follow along or whatever or just hang out and just watch me then that's cool all right so I've got the flour and the cocoa and the sugar and now we need one teaspoon of baking soda okay, I'll just put this over here I'm placing my papers over there somewhere okay so one tablespoon is that what she said <laughs> Half, okay, one teaspoon of baking soda. Where's my teaspoon? 
Please be here. Okay, there's the teaspoon. Baking soda. Where are you? Baking soda. Here you are. Put that there. Teaspoon. Oh, right. There's one tablespoon of baking soda. And just a little bit. All right, place that there. Put this over here. And then, um, the salt. So how much salt? Salt. Half a teaspoon of salt. Half a teaspoon of salt. I use um, sea salt, okay? So if you wanted to know what kind of salt I use, I use sea salt. This is my half my half teaspoon, yes. Half a teaspoon of salt. I use the smaller grains, guys, like this the, the fine grain. Okay, there we go. Half a teaspoon of salt. Put this over here. Put it away. And then, okay, okay, you mix in the flour, the sugar, the cocoa, the baking soda, and the salt. Now I have to mix it well. So here we go. Mix it well. Yes, in the video, she, Jenny said you do not need a mixer to mix this. And then when you add the, the wet ingredients, you don't need a mixer, but you do need you do you do need. Oops, I'm making a mess. You do need a mixer when you are making the frosting, and the frosting is also very simple. But um, it's just it, it's a very simple frosting, and she's trying to make it as healthy as possible. But it's it's still using white sugar. It's still using white sugar, and I think um, she she is using some butter, but it's very very small. I think she said. A tablespoon or three tablespoons of butter or something like that yeah okay so this is now mixed very well and now what do I do I think I have to add the what ingredients what ingredients oh I forgot to to start the um, to preheat the oven to 350 de uh, degrees but anyway okay one what are my other okay okay next here we are my other ingredients add oil into the water oh okay so what I need to do is I need to get a bowl but the bowl that I need is wet so I'm going to dry it all right Jenny says to Add the oil into the water. So I guess I'm going to... Oh, by the way, she says to put... Use cool water. I'm not using any cool water. I'm using room temperature water. Okay? Just room temperature water. That's what I'm using. And how much oil? Oil, 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 oil. Now, where did that... Oh, no, guys. Didn't I write it down? Where's the oil? How much oil did she say? Okay, here we go. Six tablespoons of vegetable oil. But she used, she used, um, a very light olive oil. And I don't, I don't use olive oil, but it's really good. I mean, very light olive oil. I just use like the extra virgin cold press because that's what we eat with, right? And I, I know that many of you guys do also. So we don't normally have, like, the lightest olive oil because that's the best one to cook with because it, you don't get the flavor of the, of the olives. Now she said six tablespoons of it. So I'm just going to use the six tablespoons of canola oil. Tablespoon. One time I did, I made um, the cookies using the extra virgin olive oil and they did come out smelling, I mean uh, tasting very strong of um, the olive. But they weren't bad. It was not bad. It was pretty good. Put it over there. One, 
two, oops, three, four, five, six. Okay, here we go. Just a minute. Okay, but where am I going to put this? There's no room. Okay, behind, I, I just put it behind me on the stove. All right, so what's next? Okay, so we added the oil to the water. Okay, and then she says to add some lemon juice. So how much lemon juice do we need? Now she said don't use store-bought lemon juice. Make sure that you get yourself some fresh lemon juice. You can squeeze lemon juice and keep it in the fridge. Um, so how much lemon? Lemon, where are you, lemon? One tablespoon of fresh lemon. Okay, well, I have no idea what I did with my other measuring spoons, and all I have are these three. Uh, okay, this is, I'll be very careful. One tablespoon of lemon, so this is a tablespoon. Okay, one tablespoon of lemon juice. I'm just going to run quickly to the fridge and put the lemon back because it's not good to keep lemon outside for too long. Otherwise, it's going to go bitter on you and it's going to taste yucky. Oh, my paper! It fell, it flew into the, the sink. Okay, anyway, well, one of them did. I have three here. All right, so now, um, okay, oh, the vanilla. All right, one tablespoon of vanilla. Well, I'm... I'm kind of finished, sort of. I'm sort of out of vanilla. But I have um, some other ones. Oh no, come on. Open it, okay. I've opened it up. One teaspoon of vanilla. And I'm thinking to myself, if the vanilla, if it's not enough, I'll just use, I'll just mix it with almond. I've done that before. Like mix um, the extracts if you don't have enough of the other. One teaspoon of vanilla, and then what's next? Okay, anyway. Okay, so here we go. There's one teaspoon of vanilla, and no, it's not enough. This looks like, what's in here looks like there's like half a teaspoon. Yeah, so I'm just going to, a little mint there. I'm going to, <laughs> I should have opened up the other one, but anyway, I'm just going to pour that in there, and then pour the, the, the difference. Pour the difference. This is this is almond extract. Okay, well that's too much, but anyway. It's not gonna hurt. Okay, so now we're gonna put these things away. Over Okay, I'll just put it behind me. Now, uh, what's next? We have the water, the vegetable oil, lemon juice, and the vanilla. And what's next? Okay, so add the, the oil, add the wet mixture into the dry mixture. Here we go. Okay, let me, I'll do that so you can see. Hold on a minute. Hey guys, you know, I bought this Betty Crocker spatula at, at, at a dollar store nearby, and you know how much it was? It was three bucks. <laughs> yeah, one time, um, like I was just talking about how things, dollar stores in Canada, they no longer, they're no longer like one dollar. It's just, they sell things for four bucks, three, two, and some, some dollar stores, they, um, they do not sell anything under a dollar fifty. They start from a dollar fifty and then they go up. So, yes. But anyway, because before, you know, the dollar stores were all just one dollar items. Yeah. But anyway, 
But you have to bear in mind that the quality of, like the quality, like the, you know, obviously if you're going to pay a, li pay a little bit more, the quality of the item you're buying is going to be a lot better. I saw this very same one at a, at a this uh, one of my favorite hardware stores. It's called Canadian Tire, and they sell this exact same one for eight bucks. And this one I only bought it for three dollars. So I guess it's fair, right? If, if the dollar store now wants to start selling things a little bit more than normal, like a bit more expensive than normal, then I guess because it's going to cost them to like they, they're not going to they're not going to buy something that is like a Betty Crocker or you know like a, a name brand that's really good quality for I don't know however much they, it is that they normally buy their dollar store products for you know they're not going to buy their products for the, the usual price they're going to pay more so then that's why we have to pay more yeah anyway so um, I hope you guys can see this really well so this is your Batter. Oh, some some of the uh, flour is still. I can see. I can see the flour. No, is that flour? No, it's the sugar. See, the sugar crystals are really big, guys. Yeah, the crystals are really big. This particular sugar crystal is really big. The one that I use. Yes. And there are lumps in there. Uh, it must be the flour. So anyway, guys. Um. I'm gonna put this in the in the oven for 30 minutes and when it's done I will show you you know what happened like how it turned out and yeah well I wouldn't mind using a mixer but anyway the purpose is the purpose was to make this thing as easy as possible with less work but I would use a mixer with this because my hands are getting tired <laughs> my arms are getting tired Yes, and I'm still in the process of gaining weight, guys. My thin, poor self. Oh, boy. No, actually, not, not a poor self. I'm a blessed self, yes. In Jesus' name, I'm a blessed self. We must never talk, um, you know, kind of negative way. Yes. I learned to talk positive about myself a long time ago, so I don't understand why I said that. Yeah. Anyway. Um... You know what? I have to see, um, because my camera stops recording every 30 minutes, and it's only been 17 minutes, so I just wanted to make sure. Okay, so. Oh, it looks good, huh? Looks yummy, 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 yummy. Yes, anyway, I'm just going to continue, I'm going to continue uh, stirring this until the bumps go away, all the clumps. Yep. By the way, um, Jenny also said that if you do not want to use, what did she say? If you do not want to use the butter at all to make the frosting, all you have to do is, okay, because of the, from what I remember, the ingredients for the frosting, she used some butter, uh, sugar, and a wee tiny bit of milk. I think she used 1% milk. She used about three tablespoons of, or teaspoons? It was either three tablespoons or three teaspoons of milk to make the, the frosting. So if you don't want to use the butter, and she used very little butter, I think she she used around three tablespoons, or is it three? Yeah, I think around three tablespoons of butter. But if you don't want to use the butter, you just omit the butter and um, just use the, the milk and the sugar. And she says, she says that it turns into a glaze instead of a, a frosting. Yes, it turns into a glaze. So I can see the, the bumps slowly coming out. Alright guys, I want to see how this tastes. And I was debating, should I go to should I go to sleep? Should I retire for the night? Or should I make a cake? <laughs> and I'm like, um, I think I, I want to make the cake. So I, re I really wanted to make the cake. Because guys, I'm a really early bird. I, I, I already retire for the night between... Well, at 6 o'clock, I have to give my cat her thyroid medication. And right after that, um, whatever else comes up, I have, I have to do, like, I don't know, some if I forget to do something like um, put things away, or if I have to clean the litter, if, if my cat goes to the bathroom, then I've got to do that. 
and that by the time I'm done I'm usually already in my room by around mm, 7 30 so it takes me that long to finish up because what, uh, things always come up right so I'm usually in, already in my room by around 7 7 o'clock not 7 30 7 o'clock 7 yeah but sometimes 7 30 oh this is so tiring okay guys um <laughs> I can't believe there's still no flour in the in the uh, in the stores I still can't find my, my flour for the cookies this is well the flour that I used to make this is what I you know is what I used to make my cookies but I don't have enough I don't have enough of the flour to make like a ton of cookies but yes um but anyway that's that guys if you're gonna try this out please let me know and if you're gonna film it then film it and post it guys because I'd love to see it I just would like to know how did, how did the cake turn out for you and I guess I'm gonna make I will make the frosting for you okay I will make the frosting and I will I will post it okay and in case you want want to make the frosting then you can make it too okay guys all right thank you for coming los quiero a todo mundo muchas gracias por venir I just said thank you for coming I love you very much thank you for coming <laughs> and I repeat myself all right guys that's it I will let you know how things turned out I hope it tastes good I guess it's gonna taste good because I put so much sugar that's a lot of sugar for one one and a half cups of flour that's a lot of sugar all right guys um thanks and god bless you in jesus name and i'm praying for you and your families and your your you know your situations whatever you are enduring right now because of this coronavirus i i am praying for everybody okay i love you all and i thank you so much for supporting my channel even though i haven't really been posting anything about cookies because it's not you know, for a long time, I haven't been posting anything about cookies. I'm just going through some things right now, guys, and I have to have some time to deal with it. And, um, yeah, I think I did post about that a bit, some posts, a few posts earlier. I think last year or at the beginning of the year, I did post something about my hiatus, kind of, kind of, kind of. And it has to do with... Um, uh, relocation and I cannot get into any more relocation and um, other business adventures and things like that all right guys so I love you thank you I love you so much thank you for supporting my channel thank you for the people in the US I love you all God bless you all thank you for my brothers and sisters in Canada I love the rest of you <laughs> I love everybody thank you for my northern brothers and sisters way up in the north I love you so much and thank you for coming and I love everybody wherever else you are in the world. I love you all. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Bye now.